Today on the channel, we're back again with another round of the Turtles of Grayskull with the Target exclusive, Mouse Jaw. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Masters of the Universe crossover event of a lifetime with Mouse Jaw. But for all your Mouse Jaw needs, make sure you go to Target. For everything else, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over 79 does ship free. And like I said, this seems to be a Target exclusive as of right now. Hitting targets with the new mod, the new reset they're doing here in January. Uh, if it's not already on your shelf, should be in the next week or so at the latest, I would imagine. Seemingly shipping five or six to a K. I don't think this will be super, super rare or super, super hard to find at this point. But you never know. Each target's going to be a little bit different out there. But this one's an interesting one. A little bit deluxe. Very reminiscent of the Walmart exclusive Moss Man in box style is what we got going on here. And I guess this is the first deluxe Turtles of Grayskull figure so far. So an interesting one to say the least. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, see what old Mouse Jaw is up to here. Now, we unboxed the entire first wave on the channel. Check out those videos. And now here we are diving into Mouse Jaw. Interesting. Got the big bubble window there. This is a Build-A-Figure, which is a first right here. We're going to build Metal Bato. No idea who all the uh, people will be to create him. Uh, it'll be interesting to see when that goes with some ebbs and flows. Personally, this is me personally talking here. Sure, why not? Uh, I'm not a big fan of build of figures that you can't get all at once. I want to build that thing right away. I don't want to have pieces sitting around for a year as I slowly build this thing. I guess some people might like the challenge and the, the time lapse. They do it with DC McFarlane over on the couch. He does it at Target from time to time. And I guess they're taking a play out of the McFarlane handbook with him right here. So we do get some build of figure pieces with this one along with the figure. Uh, uniform box, obviously. Uh, packaging with the Turtles of Grayskull. Just a bigger deluxe package on this one here. Now we do get mouse jaw graphics up top it does say evil and armed with mouser so it says mouse jaw very interesting and very clever design to bring these two together now this is the thing that blows my brain a little bit with this line here is it's not necessarily a mixed mash of characters we get donatello we get man at arms they look the same but they're still their characters well, this is like a combination of Trap John and Mouser. This is what I think of when I think of something being combined. This is a perfect example. So they're going both directions in this Turtles of Grey Skull line. A little bit confusing, a little hard to wrap your head around sometimes, I guess. Same thing on this side, get another glamour shot there. Then on the back, beautiful artwork up top. You got the Castle Grayskull there, the Turtle and He-Man logo up top. Bill the uh, Metal Bato, build him, the kind of directions down here. What's it say on the back? Anything good? Unbeknownst to him, Trapjaw was the first of Krang's ooze experiments. The cybernetic walking weapon of destruction fused with Baxter Stockman's Mouser technology, making him a mindless minion and Skeletor's mutant army. So very cool there. Looks like we got T-Look fighting it off. We got some Mousers. We got Leonardo, who we did unbox on the channel. Looking pretty good on the side, I would, if I do say so myself. But let's get him out of the package. Insert the Mouser into an arm. And then we got some instructions on the side. So it shows that you can pull the legs off, stick them on the side. You can do all kinds of different stuff here with uh, Roboto or Metal Bato. No, that's the build a figure with Trap Jaw and the Mouser. Mouse Jaw. Very, very confusing. Very confusing here. But what do we got going on in there? See you later. Goodbye. And what is this? See you later. Goodbye. So this is interesting. Now, we've seen this before with uh, the Sunman uh, figures. Those three packs we did, of course, get at Target. We've seen something very similar, as we do not get a comic book with this one, as it does look to be just like a hard, almost like a trading card, dare I say, a trading card here. Turtles of Grey Skull, and it says Mouse Jaw, Evil and Armed with Mouser, Mutagen Master Powers, Trap Jaw, Endless Array of Weapons, Powerful, Razor Sharp Jaw, Cybernetic Strength, and then the Mousers, Turtle Hunting Technology, 
attack in unstoppable numbers, shell crushing jaws. So we get a little glamour shot there. Very interesting, different than the comic book, but I'm not against this. I think that looks okay. But now we get him in the old plastic prison. It looks like we're buckled in a little bit here, but we got those build a figure parts. We got a little effect piece looking nice. We got a straight up mouser. A lot going on with old trap jaw here. We're gonna get him out of the package and we're gonna see really what's going on. What's really going on right here. Pop that out, there it is. The old mouser, this is a big mouser, that's for sure. And then, up, oh, we're locked in at the arms, locked in. Don't want old mouse jaw going anywhere, he's dangerous. He'll bite you, he'll bite you. And, oh my gosh, we're breaking at the waist. Oh my gosh, we're falling apart. What are we doing? Oh my goodness, see you later, goodbye. Twist ties all over the place. Oh, it's just a mess. Just a mess here at the table. We're going to put him back together. The cool thing, of course, is we know, just like the He-Man figures, you can pull these guys apart, mix and match, choose your own adventure at the end of the day, as we always do say. So there we go. We can put him off to the side. Let's look at some of these accessories first. And I guess we'll look at the Metal Bato stuff. So we do get an arm here, a right arm for him. And then we do get some weapon effects. Of course, the Robato weapon effects, which really you could use on Trap Jaw if you really wanted to. You can bring those over here. But we do got the axe, you do got the uh, claw, you do got the blaster. So that all goes over here. But once again, you could mix them over here if you really wanted to, which isn't a terrible thing. Not a terrible thing. Oh yeah, then we get this little piece as well. I think that goes, I don't know where that's going to go. I guess we'll find out, but a little piece for him. So we got all the parts there. Now we dive into here and we do get this little like kind of torch flame effect, which I think is really cool. Always love these effect pieces like this. This looks really cool. Another weapon in Mouse Jaws Arsenal is what we got right there. But then we do get the mouser here, and it does feel a bit like an accessory, but also feels like a figure here. Of course, you got the articulated mouth on it, the articulated neck side to side. Uh, no real up and down on this bad boy right here. A little piece of plastic in there. Now the legs move side to side, up and down. We've got a little like tail going on the back here, which is pretty cool. And we did see this can be broken apart. So you just plug off the leg here and you can stick it right into his championship belt and you can have that on the side there, pop the head off and you can have the mouser as the arm. So you can really mix and match this one. Boy, this would be a kind of a fun one to get multiples of. I really like these mousers. They feel really good. Uh, they feel like an accessory, but a little bit more, but they feel very sturdy, not fragile, and they look really, really good. I like the white with the little red eye at the top, the black on the sides. Looking really good, but you can, yeah, have him mixed up, put on the trap jaw, mouse jaw in this case, or you can have a step, separate mouser if you want to. So I think that looks pretty darn good if you ask me. Uh, so we got that as another accessory. Now we're going to dive into Mouse Jaw, and it truly does feel like Trap Jaw, but a little bit different. A little bit different on Trap Jaw. Uh, you got the big head with a white helmet on, which is very different. But you do get that iconic jaw, and of course that moves. You got to have that in any Trap Jaw figure. You got to be able to move that jaw up and down. Got that familiar green skin behind there and piercing white eyes. You got a little bit of red on the top of the helmet to match the Mouser. I think that is awesome. I also love his arm. Instead of being black with the robot arm, the shin guards, things like that that or the thigh guards they're white to match the mouser bring it all together i think that looks really cool got the harness over the top in the white and you got the red a little strap of course the smurf like blue skin back here for trap jaw you got the white wrist guard here you get this terry steinbach shin guards here in black looking nice and then you got very robot like feet mouser like feet on him once again tying it all together in the mismatch uh, amalgamation of these two i think that looks really cool we got a brand new championship belt here and he's going to defend it at any cost you got a little turtle action right on the front i think that looks really cool and then you got the plug sides on the side for the mouser arms if you want to go that route as well and then the arm here looks very mouser like once again the color scheme to some of the red going on you do get the bend at the elbow on that the old side to side just like a regular arm here the arm does go all the way around head back forth side to side everything removable as we know waist articulation splits right there leg goes up bend at the knee side to side you do get a boot cut you do get ankles back forth side to side does he fit on a mattel ringside collectibles uh stand make sure you get the mattel one what do you know if it's perfectly right there? And of course, that effect piece, plug that right into his arm. And as of right now, I'm probably going to display him with this effect piece. I like the idea of him just flamethrowing everybody like that. I think that looks really, really cool. But as we talked about, you can also, oh, if I can get this going here, might have to, let's see. Let's see, maybe not. I thought you could pop that off. I think there is a way. I'll have to look at the instructions. Oh, now I can't even get the mouth open. What are we doing? But this should all... Oh, here we go. Okay. Got it figured out. I'm going to get it here. I'm just going to go full on. I'm going to go full on. That's what I'm going to do. 
We're gonna plug these on the side of the belt, like so, and like so. So they dangle on the end, like a couple of little feet. Take this off, and then you plug that little tail I talked about. That plugs right in the back there, and it's almost like we got a trap jaw, aka mouse jaw. It's like we got a little puppet show going on. He's got a puppet show. He's gonna tell some stories, terrorize some kids, do a little puppet show. I think that looks really cool. And then you move this here. I can get it going and that should be able to plug all right like so so you can really put everything together here if you want to you can put that little effect in there and he could be really laying waste to everybody with that mouser so a couple different options almost an army builder in some ways you could do it this way you can do the mouser separate have a regular guy there's a lot you can do with this one it truly is true as your own adventure and then if you grab some roboto parts you don't want to wait and you want to use these you can plug these in as well so there's a lot of angles you could take with mouse jaw here a very cool figure very fun one trap jaw an all-time favorite of mine so this really does work and really does look good and this is what i want out of a crossover more than what we've seen so far we've seen like a leonardo kind of as he-man but not really he-man he-man's already in it but this trap jaw and mouser combination is what I look for in things like this. And this is what I understand. And I guess it's just kind of what you're looking for in something like this. And this is more of what I'm looking for in a crossover instead of melding the worlds together. But, you know, choose your own adventure. It just depends what you do prefer at the end of the day. But, of course, got a couple other trap jaws. The cartoon collection and the origin style. We've recently unboxed the cartoon one on the channel. All things coming up trap jaw as of late, I guess. But you got a couple of different versions here. You can really choose your own mouse jaw or trap jaw adventure. And the cool thing is you can mix these in with your origins. You're a little kid. You're playing. You can mix this all together. I think that is a pretty fun thing to be able to do. And, of course, we have got the rest of the crew here. you got He-Man uh, looking a little different than the usual He-Man, of course. you got old Donatello. we got Man-at-Arms. And we got Leonardo. I guess I'll stick him here. So we got the whole first wave. Everything one and done through the first wave right here. Bring on Series 2 should be coming very, very soon. And there's rumors this is going for four sets. So we'll see if it goes beyond that or if it even makes it to four sets. It's still early. It's still early. So if you're on the lookout, you know to go to Target to get this mouse jaw out there. But what are your guys' thoughts? Is this something you're here for? Are you looking for this one? Do you want this in your collection? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, on Patreon. Early access to both YouTube channels, videos, bonus content over there. And best of all, you do support the channel and all the work that goes on with this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at PressNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Mouse Jaw and the Turtles of Grey Skull 2, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.